friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a white mature cataract with convexity of the anterior surface of this cataractous lens let us observe this surgery done on 27th may 2018 this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 mm keratome now this is a side port on the right side and this is another side port on the left side the side ports are about 2 to 2 and a half clock hours away from the main incision and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue 0.06% dye is applied over the surface anterior surface of the cataractous lens to stain the anterior capsule the air bubble cannot dilute the dye so the staining is very fast and now i wash the dye out with bss i wash the dye thoroughly and leave bss in the anterior chamber and then i replace these bss with 2% hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose i do this because there is lot of impurities in the dye that we get and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose and then capsulorexis is done the anterior capsule has been incised the capsular tag has been raised Now I hold this capsular tag. In this case, I am going to do a five millimeter excess because the there is some convexity of the anterior surface of the lens, and if I try to do a large excess, if it try if it goes to periphery, I may not be able to retrieve it. But if I aim a excess of about five millimeter, even if it goes to periphery. i will have some safety margin to retrieve the rexus and now hydro dissection is done and the nucleus is rotated visco is injected again and now is the time to introduce the tip of the feco handpiece the machine being used is oatly catrix 3 from switzerland and now the tip of the feco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber with bevel of keeping the bevel sideways some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now this is a direct job direct horizontal job the nucleus is not very hard in this case and the nucleus is brittle so the nucleus is getting divided into fragments very easily beginners can choose this kind of cases so that they can chop the nucleus easily into fragments in this case feco power used is 60% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury this is the last fragment and we must take adequate care at this time we can decrease the vacuum and flow rate to keep the chamber more stable and our cortical clean up is to be done visco is injected into the anterior chamber and by the time my assistant gets ready with bimanual ia i am using this 23j simco to remove some cortex from the inferior part and the cortex from 1 o'clock to 10 o'clock has been removed by this instrument this is a very efficient instrument and very safe instrument to remove cortex And now this is bimanual irrigation aspiration 
and as I try to remove the cortex, I caught the posterior capsule. So I just could not remove the cortex nicely, came out, injected some visco. Now my plan is to go through the sideboards with the Simco and to remove this cortex nicely. Yes, it is coming off nicely now. And with Simco you can control the vacuum more efficiently. With bimanual irrigation aspiration the control of vacuum is not so efficient in my hands. It is a much safer instrument than bimanual irrigation aspiration. Cortical cleanup is done nicely. Only a small speck of cortex is there at 10 o'clock and now in this case we have selected a Technis single piece intraocular lens and it is a quite thick lens and I'm using a B cartridge so I'm enlarging the main incision just by a little bit say by point on millimeter and now this is hydro implantation of Technis single piece intraocular lens. Yes, the lens has gone into the capsular bag. And now the this is a bit of moxie, moxie fluxacin. Now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. Corneal stroma on either side of the side port is hydrated. And the side ports close. This is final lavage of the anterior chamber some visco was there in the lumen of the cartridge it is coming out during this final lavage of the anterior chamber the lens also has been dialed a bit the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision the anterior chamber is nicely formed integrity of the wounds are checked by cotton tipped Johnson bard few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and then the case is concluded. This is a totally unedited surgery. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence. Please do not hate Simco Canva. It is a much safer instrument than bimanual irrigation aspiration device.